I wouldn't. I don't look at it like that. Okay. I just don't. I mean, it's it's Big Ten season. Today's the one day to talk about the Big Ten, and then it's it's right back on to having uh, a great set of practices this weekend. See what we can get accomplished before we take another day off, and then we're right into games next week. But but it, it just you you've got to be clicking on all cylinders anywhere. And so if you're going to be competitive and successful in this league, you've got to be able to see yourself as a team that's constantly improving. And, and that's what we're looking for more than anything else. And where's the weakness on your team to see now that you would like to have it cleared up? over? The I don't think there's any one thing that we have that I would look at and say, hey, let's go play. Let's go play a big time game right now. And this will take care of itself. I think uh, uh, there's there's strengths. But there's nothing that you would say, okay, let's go hang our hat on this. I mean, you got to, if you're going to be really, really good, you've got to have a lot of strengths. And so I, I don't know if there's any one thing I can pinpoint. And uh, talk about the pace. What, what, what do you want from the pace of your offense? Because it seemed like those Kentucky games, you were as a fast team. Yeah, we'd like to play fast, but I think we've got to be better defensively with, uh, with the pace of the game. And, and that will create more opportunities. But no, absolutely. I mean, we want to play, uh, we want to play uh, at a really good pace. I mean, it was, it was, we didn't have any trouble scoring in the Kentucky game. We just didn't do a good enough job defensively. And that was the biggest game, biggest stage of the, of the season. And we have to learn a lot from that. And that, that's the key. And if we learn a lot from that game, that's going to help us in every other game we play. Coach, how fun is it to be coaching when you've got the, uh, You're welcome. the, the fan base so energized going into the season like it is right now? Uh, I think that's great. I, I think that's really great. Um, it's fun. I mean, it really is. I mean, it, it, but it's... It, it, that doesn't, when we get on the practice floor, I mean, it's got to be a tough, hardworking environment. And, and when we're watching film, the door closes. And, and uh, you, you've got to have that. I mean, there, that, that's fuel. It's, it's inspiration. It's motivation. It's, um, it's a great feeling. But, I mean, the, the, the feeling of getting better and the feeling of your team being tough, that's got to override any of that. And that because that's the only thing that they can control. There are players on the roster who have never experienced what it's like to not be in the spotlight or IU at IU or not winning on a national stage. How do you and the guys that have been through that keep them level-headed and keep them hungry? Well, I think it's just a matter of them coming every day with, with the desire to be better and the upperclassmen holding them to that, to that standard, not only the coaches. If the coaches just hold that standard, uh, it, it – if you're trying to lead your team daily as the coach and the coaching staff and you're not getting that leadership from the players, then you're going to have inconsistency. Then there's not going to be issues on how many guys play. But if the players are really driving it and, and they're, they're holding each other to a standard and they're not afraid to ruffle some feathers and confront and, and, and challenge and compete against them, well, then, then maybe we will have a minutes issue, you know? And I, I don't... I'm looking forward to that because it really becomes about the quality of your play than it does the quantity, and and that's what our that's what our players are going to have to understand. But we're also sitting at you know it's we've got injuries right now, so I'm not looking at the whole deepness of our team right now. I'm looking at the fact that we've just got to get a lot better and get some guys healed up. Coach, how do you define a successful season this year? Uh, you know that's that's. That's a hypothetical. I mean, that's that's not one that I really spent a lot of time thinking about. What's been your impression of the freshman group so far? They've been good. They've been very good. They they're they're very hungry. Uh, it, it's a bit overwhelming them for them at times with the with the with the the demands and the physicality and the speed and quickness. But it is for everybody at some point. They just grow into it.